It is no surprise, exercise and weight loss is always a top resolution. So, Julie, you have some tips on saving cash if you have a membership somewhere. Lisa, more than 50 million Americans belong to a gym. Now, one of the biggest reasons they say they quit is the costs. Consumer Reports did some digging and came up with five tips for saving money and keeping your fitness regimen on track. If getting in shape is one of your New Year's resolutions, you don't have to break the bank to break a sweat. Just like buying a car, the first rule is always negotiate. Always assume you can get a better deal, and you can do that by asking the right questions and visiting at the right times. January is a great time for promotions, but wait until the end of the month when sales teams may be more eager to make a deal. Consider bringing some friends and asking for a group discount. Number two, consider what type of membership you really need. Some Gyms let you pay less for more limited access and fewer perks. If they're not going to utilize the amenities, then they could just come in and just pay $10 a month. If they are interested, then they could pay the $19.99 a month. Be sure to ask your gym for a cheaper plan since it may not be advertised. Down for two. Number three, see if your boss is willing to share the cost. About half of larger U.S. firms have wellness programs, and many of those include discounts on gym memberships or the ability to access on site workout facilities. Also, check your health insurance policy for gym benefits. Some Blue Cross Blue Shield members can pay as little as $25 per month at fitness chains around the country. Finally, if you don't know how often you'll be able to work out, or if you're the kind of person who likes to mix it up with different kinds of workouts, consider a pay as you go membership. With these deals, you can sign up at more than one type of gym and only pay when you use the facility.